makes kind of a little boost, but um, not that what we want. So and then we have here my my nice little friend. <laughs> There's a DT28 trouble track. <coughs> All right. So here we have a new clutch system. That's the old one. Let's begin with the flywheel. There's a dual mass flywheel to make it smoother when you start your drive. Don't need all that stuff anymore, so we got a light flywheel, a one mass flywheel. Kind of a little boost, but um, not that what we want. So and then we have here my my nice little friend. <laughs> there's a DT28 trouble charger, and you can see here already that is way bigger than the old one. Flange on with the four bolt, what we have already at the engine, and um, yeah. So here it goes way more air in, and here it comes way more way, way more air out. So. We're gonna have some fun with that thing. And uh, there's the exhaust outlet. You can see here, it's also a bigger wheel. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Let's try to take a look inside. Well, not really. But yeah, that's the old exhaust outlet. Really big, but small holes. And there's a really small turbine wheel in there. So. The condition of the turbocharger is good, no heat cracks or something like that, but we want to go with the big boy, make some boost! <laughs> Alright, so next step I get that thing in. So I paid for the turbocharger just uh, $137. Then I got um, that kit here, comes with, with way more stuff like this and some, some gaskets and parts. <coughs> For the oil return line and um, that gasket, uh, that uh, oil piping set was like $29. Alright, so the tow was bolted on the engine and we have done all the water and oil lines. And um, I was at the parts store and I spent like another $20, yeah, $23 for bolts and fittings and all that stuff to get it hooked up. Yeah, so. I'm working on the cold air intake when the engine is back in the car. So, um, what else we have? We have um, this flange right here. It's a, yeah, just an excess outlet flange. And this one was $56. $56 for that flange. So, um, first I use a 90 degree elbow to let it come out of the hood. And then we drive into the muffler shop to get it. Uh, yeah, to make a custom exhaust system. <coughs> so, what we are doing next is um, we get rid of our AC system. We don't need the AC 
Cinema. I just, uh, uh, we just lose the power with, with the AC, so we get rid of it. So we got the, um, the old belt here with the AC system, and um, I ordered another belt without AC system. So it's uh, it's quite a little bit smaller, and that was seven dollars. So seven dollars we get rid of this one, replacing the timing belt because I don't know how old he is or whatever and uh, just just a belt, nothing else, just a belt, keep it keep it unexpensive now and uh, the belt was like um, I think 35 or 36 dollars let's say 35 so 35 dollars for a new belt 7 dollars for a new belt without AC so let me get rid of that system and um, replace both belts and um, we got other spark plugs as well because uh, the original spark plugs are not good enough anymore to fire that uh, high compressed fuel so we are also changing the spark plugs so we got here um, some other spark plugs so we got them in and you know spark plugs are um, are important so we spent a little bit more money on that stuff so the spark plugs it was like uh, uh, yeah, that's a good question so 65 dollars for the spark plugs and um, yeah do all that stuff then we're working on the front side of the engine and then we get better in the car all right let's do it so if you are replacing on your belt and want to go the easy way I cut this belt in half, like this, get this part out, now I put a new belt on here, and then I cut this away and pop the new belt completely on. Easiest way to do a timing belt, uh, yeah, right quick without changing any rolls or water pumps or whatever. So I got a new timing belt on already and the new spark plugs in, and I'm replacing the valve belt cover gaskets here, because it was... Uh, leaking and it was sheep, it was just like shit and I replaced the valve cover gasket because it was leaking and we don't want to want to have leaking oil on the fucking hot turbocharger so uh, yeah valve cover gasket was 19 dollars something so let's say 20 bucks so 20 bucks for the valve cover gasket and right here I want to show you why the Volkswagen and Audi engines are called 20 valve engines or 20 V because um, we got yeah because you got four cylinders and you got five valves per cylinder so as you can see here you have two valves per cylinder for the exhaust and at the intake you got two at the outside and you got an extra one here in the middle so the two at the exhaust are still like this and the one in the middle is kind of an angle in there so you got three uh, valves per outlet so that is why some of those engines are called five valve or twenty valve I mean yeah five valve per cylinder or twenty valve if you have a four cylinder engine or um, at Audi the V6 the 2.7 V turbo engine. He has also five valves per cylinder. So um, then it's called 30 valve. So um, yeah, that is just. I mean, <laughs> with three more, with one more valve at the in intake side, you get way more uh, air in there, uh, especially if it is boosted. And um, then other other good thing is you can uh, you use your. Um, you use your cylinder head, the area you have there, you use it more efficient if you put one more valve in there. So, I mean, the valves are more uh, smaller, but you have one more, so at all in all, you have more room to get air in there. All right, so here we have a new clutch system. That's the old one. Let's begin with the flywheel. There's a dual mass flywheel to make it smoother when you start your drive. Don't need all that stuff anymore, so we got a light flywheel, a one mass flywheel, 
and um, yeah, it's lighter, so yep, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so um, the engine is uh, revving up faster because it don't have to pull that much uh, weight anymore, and um, we should lose a little bit of uh, torque, but increase a little bit of uh, horsepower with that, just a little bit. So. Whatever it is, here we have the clutch. So that's the old one, pretty done. It's a, yeah, that is a totally broken clutch. It's coming apart. And um, yeah, that is a normal clutch disc. So we are going with a center pad clutch, like this. So, and basically what it is, is we have uh, the pads here, and they have way more grip than the disc. And um, so the good thing about it is, uh, let's say the thing about this is, um, we have uh, yeah no slipping point anymore. So the clutch has grip or no grip. That's it. So that's not really good for normal street use. But um, in our case, we don't care about that anymore. Yeah. So that's the disc. And. Um, here we got the old pressure plate. Yeah, so yeah, so here we got the old yeah, pressure plate. That's a new one. The springs in here are way stronger than in this one. And um, yeah, that is a whole kit. And the kit was two hundred and twenty-two dollars. It's a stage four clutch kit, and um, yeah, it should handle that. What we uh, yeah, it should, it should handle the power what we give on it, and um, I hope it don't come apart when we test it. Still be the man when everything is over So I'm riding through the city